right? This is the next section of your pre-trip inspection. This is your trailer only. And the first thing you want to do, you want to start with your header board and your buckhead. You want to make sure there's no holes or intrusions in your header board. Make sure uh, all your rivets are there. Make sure all the nuts and bolts, if you have any, make sure they present and tight. All right, at the very top, you want to check your clearance lights on your trailer as well. They amber in color. Make sure they properly mounted and secured. You want to check for any loose wires showing or anything of that nature. Now you want to come down to the side of your trailer. You want to check the skirt all the way down on the side of your trailer. These rivets right here represents the cross members underneath the trailer. You have cross members. You want to make sure you have 50% DOT tape across the side of your trailer, okay? Make sure everything is properly mounted secured here are the cross members I'm telling you about. You wanna make sure all the cross members all the way down the trailer are properly my secured and not damaged. This part right here is your landing gear. You wanna examine your landing gear. Here you have your crank arm. It's properly mounted and secured on the hook right here. You have your crank rod. It has a high and low side. The high side is in, the low side is out. You wanna make sure all your nuts and bolts are pressing and tight. Here you have your uh, leg of the uh, landing gear. You have your leg, you have your foot right here. These right here are your braces across the top. And then you have your cross member. Here's your cross member right here going across. And then you have your connecting rod on each side. This is your connecting rod. Make sure all nuts and bolts are present and tight. Everything is properly mounted secured, no illegal wells. As you're moving down, you're still checking the cross members underneath to make sure there's no damage. You're checking across the top. If you have any clearance slices at the top, you make sure they're uh, not cracked, bent, or broken. Make sure they're amber in color. Make sure everything is properly mounted secured. Here you have a marker light. It has three functions. This is your running light, your turn signal, and your four-way flashing. It's amber in color. Make sure it's not cracked, bent, or broken, or damaged in any way. Properly mounted and secured. Make sure all your wires are not torn. Make sure there's no tape. Uh, make sure it's not afraid of damage in any way. Properly mounted and secured. Under here, you have the airlines. Here, you have your retainer spring right here. Make sure your retainer spring is holding up your airlines uh, uh, at least 18 inches from the ground. You want to make sure your airlines have no abrasions, bumps, or cuts, or dry rot. This trailer is equipped with ABS. This is your ABS line. Also, want to make sure it has no abrasions, bumps, or cuts, or dry rot. Make sure it's properly mounted and secured. Right here, you have your release arm. This is your release arm. This is your locking pin right here. You have your release on your locking pin. This thing right here, this is your sliding rail. This is your sliding rail right here. This part right here, this is your cradle. Your cradle of your tandem. Your tandem sits in the cradle. Here you have your cross member. This is your cross member. Going across, make sure everything is properly mounted secure, free of any illegal wells. Nothing is cracked, bent, or broken, or damaged in any way. Then you want to check your torque or torsion bars. Here you have right here on both sides. This is your torque bar, torsion bar. Make sure all the nuts and bolts are pressing and tight. Nothing is cracked, bent, or broken, or damaged in any way. Make sure everything is properly mounted and secured. You have rubber bushings in your torque bar. Make sure there's no abrasion, bumps, or cuts, or dry rod. Make sure everything is properly greased. Here you have your axle. This is your axle right here. Your tandem axle. Make sure everything is properly mounted and secured. Nothing is cracked, bent, or broken, or damaged in any way. These airlines right here go back to your air tank. This is your air tank right here. Make sure your air tank is free of any illegal wells. Make sure it's not cracked, bent, or broken, or damaged. All hoses coming to and from, no abrasion, bumps, or cuts, or dry rotting. All right? Here are your leaf springs. Make sure your leaf springs are in line with each other. Make sure it's not cracked, bent, or broken, or damaged, free of any illegal wells. All right? They're bolted down with uh, bolts, U-bolts. And U-bolts, make sure they present and tight. Make sure it's not cracked, bent, or broken, or damaged in any way. It's bolted on down to your tandem axle. Here you have your uh, dual brake chamber. Your dual brake chamber, you want to make sure it's not cracked, bent, or broken, or damaged in any way. Make sure it's properly mounted and secured. Make sure all the airlines coming to your brake chamber are uh, uh, no abrasion, bumps, or cuts, or dry right, not leaking. Make sure everything is properly mounted and secured. Underneath here, you have your slack adjust and your push rod. It's locked in with a clevis pin and carter key. Okay, that's a clevis pin, that's a carter key. No more than one inch of play with the brakes release. Make sure everything is properly mounted secure. Make sure all nuts and bolts are present and tight. Here you have your drum. You want to make sure your drum right here has free of any illegal wells. You want to make sure it's not cracked, bent, or broken, or damaged in any way. Properly mounted secure. Make sure it has no more than one inch of heat stretch. 
Here you have your brake pads. You want to make sure your brake pads are free of any illegal wells. Make sure they're not cracked, bent, or broken, or damaged in any way. It should have at least a quarter or one fourth of thickness. Uh, make sure it's properly mounted secured. Here you have your rim. You want to check your rim on both inside and outside of your rim. You want to make sure your rim is properly mounted secured. Make sure it's not cracked, bent, or broken, free of any illegal wells. Make sure it's properly mounted secured. Here you have the. Uh, Make sure your rims right here, make sure your tandems, it's zero space on your rims. In between, you make sure you still have at least three inches of tire space. Uh, anything less than that indicates a low tire pressure or flat tire. These right here can be regroup or retread tires. No less than 230 seconds on your tire, uh, uh, on your tire depth. And you make sure you check your sidewalls on both tires, on your dual tires, and on the top, make sure there's no abrasion, bumps, or cuts, or dry rot. Uh, no tears or frays or anything like that, okay? You wanna check, make sure it has no less than 230 seconds of tire depth. These tires also have to be at least 100 PSI or to the factory specs. You wanna check the inside of your, you wanna check the inside of your rim. For any uh, illegal wells, make sure it's, it's properly mounted secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, or damaged. You wanna check all your lug nuts. You wanna make sure your lug nuts are pressing it tight. Make sure it have no rust or shiny metal to any case looseness, okay? You want to check your hub seal. Uh, make sure your hub is not leaking. Make sure it's proper mass secure. Make sure all nuts and bolts are present and tight. You want to check your valve stem. Make sure your valve stem on both axles. Uh, I'm sorry, on both tires, or both rims. I'm sorry. Make sure both valve stems are not cracked, bent, or broken. Make sure the tops on there tight. Make sure it's proper mass secure. Now we're going to go back. We're going to check the, uh, the tag tandem. We will examine the tag tandem as we just showed you on this front tandem. Now we're going to go to the mud flap. I want to make sure our mud flap right here. Make sure it's properly mounted, secured, free of you know, any illegal wells. Make sure the mud flap is not abrasion bumps or cuts or dry rot. It. Make sure it's not torn. Make sure it's between two to eight inches from the ground. Make sure all the nuts and bolts are pressing and tight, properly mounted and secured. Okay, we will continue going. Here, this trailer again is equipped with ABS. You want to make sure your ABS light is amber in color. You want to make sure all the wires and connections uh, are connected properly. Make sure it's properly mass secured, no tape and no tears in your ABS line. Amber in color, properly mass secured. This light right here is just the marker light. It indicates the tail end of the trailer. So when you're going around turns, tight turns, or even backing up to the dock, it just illuminates to let you know the tail end of the trailer. All right, that's the only function it has. When you come to the very back, you want to check your DLT reflective tape. It needs to be on the back of every unit, the trailer and the tractor. You want to make sure it's present and tight. Make sure it's uh, proper mount secured in the right location. You want to check your hinges. All right, you want to check your hinges. You want to make sure all your hinges on both sides. Make sure all the nuts and bolts are present and tight. Make sure it's proper mount secured. Make sure they're not cracked, bent, or broken in any way. You want to check your lower latch as well as you check your upper latch. Make sure it's proper mass secure. Make sure it's not cracked, bent, or broken, or damaged in any way. Check all your latches on the back of the trailer. Make sure the locking mechanism, all the nuts and bolts are present and tight. Make sure everything is properly mounted and secured. You want to check the rubber seals. You want to check the rubber seals around the trailer. Make sure it has no abrasion bumps or cuts to dry rot. Make sure it's also properly mounted and secured. At the very top, you have three clearance lights. Your clearance lights need to be amber, I mean, I'm sorry, red in color. I do apologize. They need to be red in color for your clearance lights on the back of anything. Uh, this right here is the back of the trailer, red in color. The three ID lights at the very top. They are your ID lights, but also called your clearance lights. Um, here you have, you want to make sure you have 100% DOT tape across the bottom of the trailer and across the bottom of the ICC bumper. 100% tape, DOT tape. Make sure it's properly mounted, secure, not tearing or torn in any way. If it is, replace it. Here you have your brake lights. You will check the left, uh, the left side and the right side as well. Here we're going to do the, the left side. This right here is your brake light and your running light. Here is your turn signal, your four-way flasher, and your running light. Make sure the rubber seals, no abrasion, bumps or cuts, or dry rot. Make sure it's properly mounted secure. Make sure the lens is not cracked, that they're broken on the right and the left side. Here you have your license plate light. You want to make sure your license plate light is clear in color. Make sure it's properly mounted secure. Make sure it's not cracked, bent, or broken in any way. Check your license plate. Make sure all the nuts and bolts on your license plate is properly mounted and secured. Make sure uh, it's not uh, damaged in any way. Make sure your license plate is clear, up to date. Make sure it's clean and visible for, for DOT uh, purposes. And that would include section, this section of the pre-trip inspection on your trailer.